You know, it was about a year and a half ago that we met, turned the dirt for the I-35 Homestead Interchange Project. And today I'm uh, privileged to uh, introduce some folks who were uh, uh, an integral part of making this project come to pass and the fine work that they've done in bringing it to completion. This will serve as a main gateway to Johnson County, to the BNSF Project Edgerton Gardner area. T take a look around and, and, and you see some empty space around here. Now think about 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road, 20 years down the road. Think what it has the potential to look like. This project is a prime example of the type of things that I spend a lot of my time and effort on. First is safety. Uh, first and foremost is going to be safety. This is a new design we have here and some of our partners from Burns and McDonald that are here that helped design this. So, okay, let me get this right. So we have designed this new interchange, a diverging diamond, where we're going to be driving the wrong way, what's perceived to be the wrong way, on this new intersection. So I'm anxious to see it. It really will reduce the number of crashes we have um, and will reduce the number of fatalities. Our partners from the Highway Patrol, uh, the Sheriff's officers are here too. Thank you for what you do to help support us. Uh, we can build the roads, uh, but we need the help in supporting on the enforcement side of things as well too. You know, we're going to continue to to maintain this road for a long, long time to come um, and uh, make sure that it's safe and sound for all of us. And we're here today, we're seeing what, what partnerships can really do. Public-private, public-public partnerships. And without KDOT, Johnson County, the city of Gardner, you know, everywhere from even, even Johnson County Park and Rec has, has a role in this. This interchange is you know the direct impact of the intermodal is is at least a 50 mile direct impact for jobs businesses both commercial businesses industrial businesses and so forth so on so you know th by the actions that's been taken here today and by what the secretary was saying today this that immediate 50 mile impact zone for uh, moves to a 300 mile impact zone in the long term for where containers go, where businesses are located, where the products from this facility, from this interchange we're standing on today, move and, and supply goods to the citizens of our state, Missouri and Nebraska, Iowa, you name it, we're, we're, we are a part of that now. This is a historic event for our neighbors in Edgerton. Uh, this inter interchange uh, supports a project that will benefit not just Edgerton and those of us in Southwest Johnson County, but all of the county, the Kansas City metro area, the state of Kansas, and there's going to be ripples and reverberations that are felt across the heart of America. Two, three, all right.